Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a Tropics Watch. We'll discuss the launches of new NASA missions that have big potential for solar forcing and Earth's disaster cycle. We're tracking potential eruptions from our star as we begin with the last 24 hours on the sun here in 193 angstroms. We have things to report both up there and back here at Earth in terms of space weather, but the primary item we're scoping today is the Hyder Flare, tsunami of fire signature just right of center. Looks like a stealth CME release of upper coronal plasma, so we'll need to keep an eye on coronagraphs today as they update. There could be a minor CME release towards the Earth. But we already have enhancements of the solar wind here. Coronal whole stream arrived the last 24 hours and is surging plasma speed at the stream from 400 to nearly 700 kilometers per second. This drove minor geomagnetic storm conditions last night may reverberate today. Luckily, everything has stayed in minor to low level range here. We will keep watching. Folks, the National Weather Service is now watching closely as tropical development may happen here. That would be yet another flooding risk for the states as we've got eyes on that one too. Currently a low chance for hurricane development, but in that location, you don't need a full-fledged hurricane to have concerns. Folks, the Tracers mission almost hit the launch window yesterday. They're going to try again today. Apparently, a regional power outage is what caused them to miss that window. Happened right as the solar storm was beginning yesterday, by the way. Remember, this is the one that will fly through the polar cusps, monitoring solar wind interaction with the atmosphere and measuring the strength of our planetary field. This is an important one. Hope they hit the window today. And folks, before the end of the year, three more missions will launch. Geo Carruthers, IMAP, and a new solar wind monitor. Now, in addition to eyeing solar wind, Geo Carruthers will watch the Earth's exosphere, hopefully will show how solar wind impacts the top of the sky around the world, and IMAP will monitor for interaction with interstellar or galactic material. Its instrument suite tells me it can detect the approaching material of the galactic current sheet big fan of all four missions heading up soon. The pre-order for our next book, expected to ship out to you in September, will only last the rest of the month one more week covering everything about the sun, solar forcing, and Earth's disaster cycle. Every pre-order will come signed and include a PDF sent to your email when we ship the physical copy. When we begin to do that, by the way, that's when anyone who just wants the e-copy, the PDF, will be able to get one. Link to the pre-order is below and same with the link to Observer Ranch. Speed dating this weekend, family homesteading, camp camp next week, then tactical training and many other events to come in August, September, October, and beyond. If you didn't catch it two nights ago in the live stream, Dr. August Dunning is returning for Founders Weekend. Go ahead, pick a time, come see us, and book your spot at ObserverRanch.com. Pre-order at the link below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.